<sighs> Do you feel fine now? Mm -hmm. This is my very first time going into Burlington. I've seen the logo, I've drove past, but never entered. The B is a hat. Ooh. That's funny and cute. I like that. I like it. Burlington is a treasure hunt store. They buy overproduced products or excess products from brands and they sell them at a cheaper price. This is called Off Price. I didn't know that, by the way, I just learned that. Also, is um treasure hunt stores, is that a term that people use? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because that makes so much sense. I never, that is what these stores are. You really have to dig to find the gold. I understand the appeal. Then when you finally find an item for a discount, you, you get more of a dopamine hit, I'm guessing, than just getting it off a rack where it's so easy to find, you know? Chances are, you don't even need the item you spent mm -hmm. so long trying to find, but you need to buy it because you spent the last 30 minutes trying to find it. So why is it called Burlington? Does that mean something in Latin? That's a good question. The first location was in Burlington, New, New Jersey. Oh! Right when you walk in, you hit the bag section, and there was this one little two foot by two foot cube. It just had a weird scent, and it was only in that two foot by two foot area, so it's, it's odd. This is the messiest store I've ever been to. This is only one location, but is this a common thing with Burlington? Like, out of all the treasure hunt stores, is it the most hectic? Pretty sure I just burst out laughing when I saw this section, purely because it was just hilarious for just how messy it was. I love how they're not even gonna attempt to make it tidy. They're just like, whatever, like it's a treasure hunt store, dig through the pile. It's mm -hmm. fun just being in somewhere where you just saw ghosts out, but it's also fun looking at stuff, and you never know if you're gonna step on like a dirty tampon or something. Yeah, the thrill of it. This is a shelf full of hair products, and then there's randomly a baby doll that you, like, it is a hair product, it just is a baby doll. And there's also a pair of shoes. Maybe it's a good way to get people to buy stuff they weren't expecting to buy. They went in just for hair products, but then they see a pair of white Vans or whatever those are and they decide to buy those. They, wouldn't have, they weren't gonna enter the shoe section. We looked through a few of the items and they weren't even that bad. They looked new to me. They even had, yeah, they had a seal and everything. Like I would feel comfortable putting that all around my eyes. Maybe there's E. coli, but probably not. I I'm would... joking. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <sighs> what I was doubting to realize was we should just use these products while we're in the store because no one's gonna notice. So I sprayed some perfume. It was called like Ibiza Dream or something. So here's the deal. I was just skimming through uh, Burlington vlogs on YouTube and most of them keep it pretty clean. The one we went to was just really messy, I guess. So, um, now I know that, like, um, it's not always like this. <laughs> I'm a bathroom boy. Bladder is always bursting. Yes. So, I was heading to the Burlington bathroom. They're only using half the store for the retail space, and the, and the other half of the store is a prison? That's what we were trying to figure out. I, I think, think it's they... dressing rooms, actually, but... But I said dressing rooms closed. I'm guessing it just has a bunch of more inventory. I don't know. But it is fun to like just make up in your mind it's a prison. I was so ready to release my bladder liquids. I wasn't brave enough. This bathroom was too liminal spacey. It reminded me of a nightmare that I was never gonna be able to escape. I guess somebody got scalped from this cart. I don't know if somebody tripped and it was a freak accident, someone ran over their head and it kept wrapping around the tire. There's literal remnants of a scalping. After what I'm filming this, I'm gonna go on YouTube and type in, I got scalped at Burlington, story time. Cause I wanna hear the whole story. Probably 60% of this Burlington is clothes. Mm. Racks and racks of clothes. We kind of looked at the clothes, but it was just too much for us to fully look at everything. We were in the expensive part of the store, and the reason why you can tell it's the expensive part is because they all have like those security tags on them. And we spotted this Paris Hilton perfume that looked like it was made 20 years ago. She looks like 
18 in that photo. I was curious, like, when did this perfume actually come out? This perfume was introduced in 2004, and it's her most popular perfume, according to her website. In the early 2000s, they just make way, like, an insane amount of units of it that they're still selling them 20 years later. But then that makes me think, does the perfume expire? Is the perfume a thing that never expires? Or do they leave the bottles empty and refill them each year to sell to these discount stores? I remember I bought the male Paris Hilton perfume off Amazon around that time. Was it good? Um, it basically smelled like fruit. Burlington used to be called the Burlington Coat Factory. Ooh. I actually didn't even look at the coats. While I was like Googling Burlington, I learned that in the 1990s, there was an urban legend that there was snakes hiding in the coats at Burlington. A representative of Burlington said that since the dib... <laughs> distribution centers are maintained at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, a snake couldn't survive that. I feel like when there's smoke, there's fire. At least one time there was a snake in a coat. I was actually thinking, you know how people always say AI is gonna make people believe crazy sh People have already been creating fake narratives since the dawn of time. Uh, so it just will make it maybe a little bit more crazy, but. How did this start? I just, I wanna like watch a whole documentary on this one urban legend now. Yeah, this wh whole entire Burlington store looks like it's about to be shut down. And every aisle looks messy. I know, like, did somebody come in like an hour before we got there and just have a temper tantrum in a bunch of different aisles? <laughs> It was exciting to make it to the food aisle of this Burlington because I was thinking like, wait, they have food here too? Like, and it's also so messy. Like, what are they gonna have? They just had a bunch of pantry stuff and there was also an Adam Lee, which I actually think was there on purpose. Yeah, I can kind of see the connection. There was a Q-tip that had this brown stuff on it. She shoved up someone's ass. <laughs> Probably. Right by the differin. It's supposed to cure acne. Like it's one thing to wreck the aisles. Like that I can get behind. Actually putting your little bodily brown sh everywhere. It's like, that's just so mean that they think somebody else will pick it up. I don't care, they'll pick it up. There was a half used collagen serum. This isn't just a tiny bit used, it's half used. Which makes me think that like, someone goes here every week and put like, and puts a touch up of the serum on their face in hopes of looking <laughs> younger, but they just don't want to buy it. There was an open conditional. You can't really test out conditioner at the store. I don't get it. Maybe they thought it was a leave-in conditioner or something. <laughs> That's funny because it is a leave-in conditioner. <laughs> 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 there was there was a spoon with like wax or maybe smushed banana. This is like disgusting. <laughs> I just can't with these people. I know. It's it's it it actually makes me like mad for the people that walk out as Burlington. Like they just go through life not giving a As we were walking to, through the store, I saw one poop stain. Okay, that's obviously gonna happen, Yeah, you know? that happens sometimes. And then I saw the second poop stain, and I got so curious. I was like, why is there stains in this carpet? I need to know. So I put my nose really close to it and did a big <laughs> I couldn't really smell anything, so I don't know what it was. Weren't these kind of close together? Yeah. So I feel like somebody was walking down, they had one little sharp thing, and they were like, oh my god, so then they sprinted. <laughs> they sprinted five feet, and then the full thing came out. <laughs> like, I feel like that's actually what happened, and it doesn't smell anymore because it's been like two years. But no one ever cleaned it. Oh yeah, because like, I honestly wouldn't clean that either if I worked there. If you're looking for home decor, Burlington has everything. They have a portrait of the... The Last Supper. Yeah, no, um... You don't know religion, you're going to hell. That was Jesus' Last Supper before he got crucified. They had pictures of the Last Supper and then cheesy quotes. The bust of both worlds, like I'm pitching a mantle. One side of it is the Last Supper just to be like, oh yeah, like, obviously I'm Christian. And then the other side is but first coffee. Mm, it's like, I still a bunny. Oh yeah, I'm still cocky. <laughs> I believe in Jesus, but I still make jokes.
I'm a candle sniffle. So I was sniffing through the candles and I stumbled upon one that had a hair in it. It did gross me out, but I just went along with it. But then the next one I sniffed was already half used. So did someone light this in the middle of the store just to add a vibe? If someone did, that's nice of them. That should be normalized lighting all the candles at the store. I know, just <laughs> because you're actually helping them. Oh my gosh, the holiday section. I love the holidays. <laughs> but then it got ruined with something unholy. A bra. <gasps> Why does everything have to be sexualized? Everything is advertised with boobs. And I was hoping that I could look at this Christmas stuff and not have it be advertised with boobs. <sighs> I had a theory that I'd find poopy underwear, so I just lifted a bunch of underwear and none of them did have poop in it. So honestly, humanity isn't as bad as I thought it was. That happened once at Walmart. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah. When I was literally like six years old, I remember we saw poop on underwear hanging up at Walmart. These treasure hunt stores always have a whole maze before the checkouts full of just random things you might want. Usually they have cotton candy and I'm pretty sure this one did too. And one time I actually fell for that at TJ Maxx and I got cotton candy on the way home. Then we left the Heavenly Stall Bullington. This is what we got. Ellen Tracy Fashionista perfume. This is not in good shape. It, it's actually making my fingers sticky. Maybe that's a boogle, or maybe that's like some Captain Crunch, I'm not sure. It's only $6.99 though. As long as what's on the inside is protected, that's all that matters. Maybe this would turn me into a fashionista, but like kind of like a, um, a slimy fashionista. What's supposed to be the actual color of this package? This or this? Oh wait, the mystery of it all. We turned multiple times or has it just been in the store for so many years that it became deteriorated? Yeah, I feel like it just gone from like Burlington to Burlington, just trying over and over to get it sold. And throughout the years, people had all this lotion on their hands and touched it and just like- That's my guess. Finally, someone bought it, you. I'm the lucky guy. Oh, see, the actual inside seems, you know, protected. Nothing's used, it looks like. Yeah, I love that. It looks like a little liquor bottle on a bar. I think I might understand why no one bought this. It just smells so basic. Oh yeah, like it smells good, but yeah, it just smells like just hand soap. Hand soap, but also a mom from the 90s that's in their 30s. When if it's not even supposed to be brown? <laughs> Ew. I wanna wash my hands now. Oh yeah, I got an empty box from Burlington. Uh huh. I just got really curious, like there's a few empty boxes, so if I put this in my check in my shopping cart and go to the checkout, will they charge me for the box? Will they give me the box for free? Will they notice there's nothing in the box? Under the story is I got this two-piece hand strength training grip box. For free. She was about to scan it and then she was like, wait, there's nothing in here. I said, oh yeah, I knew there was nothing in there. And then she said, why do you want it then? And then I said, oh, because I wanted to see like if I get it for free slash like what would happen if I wanted to buy something that was empty. The employee just seemed so confused by Jacob's answer that I decided to just, yeah, introduce a whole new story. Didn't know if um you had the stuff that was supposed to be in the box back there because we wanted to buy it. Cause I was like, that seems more of like a, just an easier story to go along with, you know? Yeah, so we both gave different stories and she was just left confused. And from that point forward, she was very suspicious of us. I actually wanna do a formal apology to her because she kept thinking we were mystery shoppers. Yeah, she was like, you guys are mystery shoppers, aren't you? And she said, well, I'm doing a good job. I'm trying my best. But then we said, oh, don't worry. We aren't mystery shoppers. And then didn't she, like it was a roller coaster. Then she said, oh, well, I don't give a crap anyway because I'm going to quit this job. So like, I don't really care if you are. But then at the <laughs> end, she was like, by the way, if you're a mystery shopper, it's like, I was still nice to you guys the whole time. So I should pass. And we were like, oh my God, sorry. We're not mystery shoppers. If I was a mystery shopper, she'd get a five out of five. Yeah, like even though she said she wanted to quit the job, I would have, I would not have included that. This can go in the uh, recycling. Oh, mm -hmm. a dog toy. 
Wait, are you a dog? Cause you're playing with it. I understand the appeal. Like this type of sound and crunching it is just so satisfying. <laughs> it's a present for me and Lucas's new dog that we just got for views. We took this course on how to grow an online brand and they did say pets are very appealing. Did that make you want to subscribe? <laughs> Thumb it up! Probably, you're, we, we, you got brainwashed. Ooh, a little slimy box. <laughs> Some crusties on the bottom. BB nail polish. There was BB everything there. The outside of this package is just completely tarnished. What it sold me was the cracked glass. Oh wait, there's cracked glass in there? Yeah, this red one is cracked. When you open it, you might get injured. Cause where's the shard, you know? Yeah. Could be anywhere. Only $3.89 for full nail polishes. And if we would have told the cash register about the crack, we probably could have gotten this for 50 cents. Oh, Don't you bet? That's true. I didn't think about, you could probably do some bargains at these stores. For sure. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of scared that the little glass shard's gonna <laughs> fly out and hit our neck and we'll die. <laughs> Yeah. Is, is it glued in there? It's literally, there's, there's nail polish on the packaging. <laughs> oh, I see one of the glass shards. Oh, that's fun. This is it. <laughs> okay, this one can come out. Oh, that went on perfect. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. Jacob, I gotta say, I love the smell of nail polish. Seems pretty good to me. Whoa! Is this the Michelin Man? Is it the little Pillsbury Doughboy? Or isn't there also a Goodyear person who looks just like this? I mean, out of tires? We were completely wrong. This is a Ghostbusters person. I never I really watched it, so I've I don't never, know. I've never, never seen it. The reason why I got this was because it didn't have a price tag on it. So we wanted to see what would the... What would the cashier do in that circumstance? And I found another one that did have a price tag on it. It was labeled for $4.99. <laughs> and the checkout lady gave it to me for $4.99. She didn't like find it in the store and scan it. She just scanned another item that was $4.99. But that's a weird coincidence. It ended up being exactly what it was listed for in the store. I guess I feel like they kind of just can tell from working there for a while. Like you can just get a vibe like, yeah, that's in, that's $4.99. Like, it kind of seems like a sh toy, because, like, what do you really do, you know? I'm really glad I bought it. Oh. Is that the main thing you're supposed to do? Happy. Mad. Happy. Mad. <laughs> That's a little queen. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Eyes open. You guys can't see that, but the eyes closed. Cashier actually said that she wouldn't let this in her house. She said that she was glad we were purchasing it because now the store has a less chance of getting possessed. This was 1999. Says that you can um, walk with her. Hold my hand and I will walk with you. And also, I've literally never heard of Wispy Walker. Who is she? Lucas actually said when we walked past it, oh wait, there's a new. I know, and like, this is it. Not trying to be a hater before we even open her up, but what is she giving that's any different? It's so basic. It's just, you're literally a Barbie with a crown on. It's an American gold doll, but cheaper, I guess. I'm not even joking. Don't look in her eyes. It's actually creepy. Ew. It's just weird. I hate it. Oh, I feel bad for talking so much. Shit. Apparently, this is one of the oldest doll makers in America since 1917. Whoa! She's a um, royal princess, I guess, by the way. I guess that is something different. She's really strapped in. I just got scared because, like, no one's gonna jump in. Cute little bag. God oh, damn. I do love the name though. Whiskey, no, Wispy Wacko. I just, I love a rhyme. How do I put this ear on? I just effing broke it. Cheap the earrings get broken on the first use. That one broke. This is not made for man hands or what? All she needs is like a bag anyway. Which like, just keeps falling down. So like, if I was a kid, I'd be stressed. I guess I hold onto her left hand. Creep ass doll. Are you moving it or is it uh, like a demon in it? No, when you move the left hand, I guess her, her legs move out. Oh, creep. 
Like, honestly, this is complicated. I just feel uncomfortable for some reason, like, actually. Come on, Wispy Walker. If I was a little kid in this towel, it probably would be cool. But I don't think it's cool in this state of mind that I'm in right now. I actually am gonna put it back in the box. And now we'll look at it again. Of course, we had to get something from the food aisle. Milk chocolate melting delight with marshmallows. Hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love how they're mashed in. Really adds. Okay, so two out of the three are mushed, but we did get one is intact. Lucas's O cup. Mm -hmm. Why do you have it? Because <laughs> my name's Lucas. There's something in here. Oh, I'm excited to see the little goodies that pop out of this. It's not over until February 2024. Um, Every hot chocolate bomb or whatever it's called is fake. People yeah. always say they exploded so cool, but then every time I use one, it's like, wait, nothing's even happening. Also, I don't know if I have like a disgusting palate, but they never have enough flavor to me. I'm always like, <laughs> this doesn't even taste like chocolate milk. I want like way more chocolate. Okay, more and more so A marshmallow is coming out. <laughs> nuh uh. Yeah. Nuh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Since the chocolate hasn't fully melted yet, it just looks like dirty tap water. Yeah. I absolutely hate to say it, but I might not be a fan of this. Since I'm super problematic and ultra cancelable, I got some Slim Tea. Around 2017, every other Instagram post from an influencer was promoting these. It wasn't this brand though, it was like Fit Tea, and then there was like this lollipop suppressant. Yeah, they always just said like, you drink this tea, bloated stomach, to the flattest stomach with abs. But somehow it would also make your ass fat, which I don't mm. really get how that would work. This has green tea and Sana. Promotes healthy digestion and works as a gentle laxative for occasional irregularity. The photo shows a girl with a tape measure. You could measure your stomach before and measure it after. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Not promoting it though. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously if it takes a bunch of inches. In that photo, she's doing it right below the belly button. Mm -hmm. Don't suck in. 32 and a half. Yeah, looks about right. Ooh. It smells like pineapple. Add it to some boiling water. <gasps> Wait, they have a little quote. The road may be bumpy, but stay committed to the process. <laughs> so so just keep like doing diarrhea basically. Yeah, like stay committed to your ass kind of splitting in half from all the pooping that you're gonna be doing from this. Laxatives. More that I think about it, I actually don't know if I am gonna drink this cause we just Googled it and Sana Leaf is like an alternative to like the traditional laxatives. I'm assuming it wouldn't make me Everywhere, but it is la la labeled as a slim tea, so it probably would actually. Yeah. Up you... this, up this whole project actually. <laughs> That's the thing. I just don't want to um, have my butthole ripped open tonight. And you know what? Thirty-two and a half inches is good, I would say. <laughs> no matter what your waist size is, I think you deserve rights and health should care? be treated with kindness. Do they deserve health care though? I'm not gonna get into all that. Okay. I don't think anyone deserves health care. <laughs> <laughs> they had a bunch of toys at Bullington and we decided to pick up the Afghan Nerf gun to see are they just as good as Nerf guns even though I haven't played with Nerf guns since I was a kid. The most edgy photo that everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> who made up that I know, one? I swear, there, if there's a certain type of guy who has a neck tattoo, his Instagram have this. If this doesn't need batteries, I'm actually gonna probably climax. Oh crap. I don't know, <laughs> even though this is fake, it still kind of scares me. Okay, oh. you ready? <gasps> I hit re <laughs> Yeah, I <did>, asshole! <laughs> that was just a joke. Oh, I was actually scared. You're gonna tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my house in three seconds, or I'm gonna actually shoot your leg. One, two, three. You're not actually leaving, so I'm gonna have to shoot you then. <laughs> that would have hit my like hip 
would have ruined my sexual organs. Like, that would have done a lot more than you were hoping for. What even is a Nerf gun fight? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Okay. Does it actually hurt though? It actually does. I get hurt when I hit my neck. Ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> it actually hurt. Why isn't it going? <laughs> okay, so you got like three. How many did I hit you with? Like three. So we tied. Mm -hmm. I don't notice any difference between this and this and a Nerf gun. Yeah, honestly, buy cheap when it comes to Nerf guns. The dupes are great. <laughs> Um, none of you guys probably care, but maybe someone does care. Yeah. Lucas and Jacob, what are these? <laughs> these are dresses. Prom dresses specifically is what we were going for. Prom dress challenge. <laughs> this blue one that I got, or maybe purple, I'm not completely sure, didn't have a price tag. So this was also another little challenge I was having for the checkout lady that literally thought we were the most annoying people ever. Sorry about it. She found a pretty easy way to charge me for this dress. She just looked at the dress Lucas got and was like, oh, it's $15.99. Do you want to pay $15.99 for the blue one? And I said, yeah, it probably was around there. I feel like you were an easy customer though, because she asks. You know people are yelling back saying, no, this one's way cheaper. But now I'm pissed because I, I got footage of a this exact blue dress that did have a price tag on it, and it was $11.99. So I spent five more dollars. But you know, it's my fault, I guess, at the end of the day. Because I guess you found the one with the price tag, but didn't bring that one up to the register. <laughs> Finally, it's time for the dance. The limo just dropped us off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you want to just like hang out with me the whole night? Because like no one like invited me. I'm just going like with you. Oh yeah, same. No one officially invited me, but Ben did say he would save a dance for me. Is this too revealing? Mm, I don't think so. Oh wait, do you see that Mr. Harry is looking at you? <laughs> you have a crush on Mr. Harry? <laughs> no. is the best years of our life and it's almost coming to an end but we should cherish the memories are you going to college oh, i'm taking a gap year what about you i am are you planning on going to college do you have any like specific plans after that gap year um i might be an entertainer on a cruise ship do you need an education for that um i don't think for the entertaining i want to do at least Do you think it's like edgy that I'm wearing a romper <laughs> instead of a dress? It's it's definitely a choice, but I don't think it's edgy. <laughs> we are totally different people. You're, I don't even know what you're, you are, but this one gives more of like a Disney princess vibe. Both of these remind me of episodes. Oh. <laughs> Neither of these seem like real life. I love how that's just so tacky too. It looks so shiny and sh <laughs> like, does it actually feel cheap? It does. But honestly, like, who cares? It still looks kind of cool. It's $11. <laughs> Let's hold it like this the whole night. <laughs> Welp, was that everything? I think it was. If we found out anything today, we found out that even if you go somewhere or you meet someone and they seem like a must, they look like a must, they have treasures. The place you're visiting might have treasures. Bye. See ya.